Pisdeck Institute. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a mini tab design of experiments. This is the answer key for the uh, model cause and effect lesson 05. It's the blimp exercise key. And you're going to create these blimps and do your own experiments. So you're going to have different data, but I wanted to uh, just show you how I went through the analysis and how I created the uh, output that you see in the answer key. So first I've gone to the session window in mini tab. And the first thing I did, of course, was that I created a factorial design. And per the assignment, we're going to have three factors and we're going to uh, replicate the entire experiment once. So we're going to have two replicates. And we're going to uh, run a full factorial design so that we can get all the main effects and all the interactions. So that was our design, and that results in uh, this design table. Minitab understands the table, and it gives us a run order, 1 through 16. And uh, then the variables, uh, length, width, tails, and the spin, which is the, the uh, output that I got when I conducted the experiment. Now, if you'll see that what we did was a factorial fit, and you can see the main effects and the interaction terms and so on. And you see that some of these p-values in this column are greater than 0.05. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drop the p-values that are greater than 0.05 because they're not statistically significant. And I'm going to do another uh, fit on the variables that remain. And this is the analysis that I got from that. Um, what I told Minitab to do was to create uh, half-normal plots and residual plots. And these are just options that are uh, contained uh, within Minitab's factorial design window. And I also created a, some additional plots and charts. So let me show you what these look like. So first of all, uh, the way I created the basic design is I went to DOE factorial and create factorial design. So that's how I got the initial design. After it was done, I analyzed the factorial design and I chose some chart options. So here's where I got my plots. The one you're looking at was a four and one plot. And that's because I told uh, Minitab to create those plots. Also asked it to create a half normal plot. And uh, that's a, a plot that shows me the, um, the effects. And essentially what you see is that there are three uh, meaningful effects. Main effect C, main effect A, and the AC interaction. So that we knew, and uh, that was also obvious from the table. Next, I'm going to create the main effect and interaction plot. So to do that, I go to the stat, DOE, factorial, and I create these factorial plots. So again, what I do is tell Minitab I want to analyze the spin response. Uh, with respect to these variables, I can give it a title. These are the graphs I want to see, a main effect graph and an interaction plot. And that's where these plots come from. So there's the main effect plot for length and tails. This is the interaction of the length and tails. And then I also created a, uh, an additional plot called a pie chart, um, pie chart of the source. So to do that, what I did was I went back to my data and I looked at the sequential sum of the squares. And what I saw is the main effect had a 15.625, the two way interaction had a 5.062, and the residual error was 2.25. And what I wanted to do is create a pie chart showing the contribution um, of the main effects, the interaction, and error. So to do that, I took those numbers and I entered them here into the worksheet. And then I went to the graph. I went to pie chart. I told it I wanted to analyze source, which is what I named the column that shows the source of the variance. And the variable that I wanted to uh, analyze was the sequential sum of the squares. And I chose some pie options. Actually, use that as a default. Um, and I wanted it to label the slices with the category name and 
the percent contribution and to draw a line from the label to the source. And so when I did that, I got this pie chart. So likewise, uh, with the cube plot, uh, that was part of my four and one plot. So I really didn't need to create a separate one, but to do it, you go to stat, DOE, factorial, and cube plot. Uh, likewise for the effects, um, this is part of the four and one, and you see that I do have a cube chart there and I have the interactions and so on. So to get the uh, power curve, you go to stat, power and sample size, uh, two-level factorial design, and we had three factors, and each was tested at two levels, so two to the third power is eight. That's how many corner points you have. We did two replicates of that design. Uh, the power values that we wanted to analyze were uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9. You can enter as many as you want. And uh, what Minitab will do is calculate the effects. So you leave one of these blanks and uh, Minitab will calculate the other ones or, or calculate the fill in the blanks. Uh, we didn't have any center points. The standard deviation is 0.433 and that's the S value. So if you go back to the factorial fit uh, worksheet or, or uh, session tab, what you'll see is that's the standard error, uh, and that's also called the standard estimate of the residuals. And then we click uh, the graph column. We want it to display a power curve. And in the options sections, we want a significant level of 0 0.05. And the design that we're analyzing had uh, one block, so we didn't uh, use any blocking terms. And when you do that analysis, what you're going to get is our power curve. So what this shows is the uh, effect uh, that can be detected and the power of uh, our design to detect that effect. So if you look at it, we told it to uh, look at a power of 0.06 and that can detect an effect of about uh, a little more than 0.5. So a difference of that magnitude with 60% certainty, a difference of a little more than 0.6 with 70% power, a uh, difference of about 0.7 with uh, 0.8 power, and a difference of about 0.8 with a power of 0.9. So that's how you generate uh, these different charts that are shown in the answer key for this particular um, exercise.